I bought my first one when I was 22. It is so doable. It, it's easier than what you think. It really, really is. It, it might seem like this really insurmountable task to buy a property, especially if you live in Melbourne or Sydney. But if you break it down, and what I like to do is like make my problems smaller or make my goals really small. So instead of thinking, you know, you've got to save $50,000 for a deposit, I focus on $1,000 blocks at a time. And I go as hard as I can at that $1,000 and then I tick it off and it's done. And if you, if you break it down, um, any goal that you have relating to property, relating to your savings, budget, um, everything's achievable. That if, if someone says no to you, go find another way and just w decide what you want in life. I mean, you can't, you can't really do much when you don't know what you want. So I'd really like to speak to the girls out there who are, you know, maybe finishing year 12 or just, you know, don't know what they want to do. Because that was me. I had no idea what I wanted to do. And if, if you don't know what you want to do as a career, that's, that's fine. But I would say focus on your financial um, situation as, as, as a job. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. In, instead of trying to force yourself to figure out what you're passionate about, yeah. you might be working an admin position, but m make your financial um, future a hobby or make it yeah. a, a job for you um, because that's going to pay you better than any other career yeah, that look, you can look, think of. Look, look, there's so much in that. I mean, <laughs> oh, God.